Taurus. Welcome to your reading. As you guys know, these readings are timeless and signless, so you don't actually have to have any Taurus placements within your natal chart, and you don't have to be accessing this video at the time that I make it. But just for reference, I am making it a few days earlier than April 2020, so I'm actually asking about April. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, please... Ooh, take this. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Don't forget the marriage partner I heard. Okay. Um, so, uh, yes, if you'd like a personal reading with me, please do feel free to reach out whatever platform you're on. Just know that I only do business through uh, my Etsy link. So go ahead and find that. I just also want to let you guys know that I offer a whole range of um, this one too. Um, readings uh, of all prices and of all modalities. I do offer live uh, video chat uh, readings and energy shifts as well. So if you're interested in that, take a look. If you're interested in coaching, take a look. If you're just interested in a 48 hour turnaround written reading, uh, I also have that as well. Okay. Either way, let's jump in. You know, I get this feeling of blah, da, 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 blah, blah, blah for Taurus. It's like, okay, going on my path here. For some of you guys, you may be, you definitely have somebody, I'm feeling that here, but what's going on right now is I do see some footsteps alone, uh, so chances are you may actually, I was just about to say, chances are you may actually be breaking up or breaking off some type of commitment or connection, but just as I said that, I, I almost felt like the person who I thought would be left behind peeked out from here and was like, hi, I'm here, and I imagine that they would be here with you throughout this whole process so there's this feeling of being attached at the hip even if not in the physical okay what is this earth healing that's an 11 card that's alignment so some of you i wonder if you okay because i'm like i wonder if you're going to be reunited with this person in the physical after after this process um and i just saw family of light okay with the eight energy coming through. So yeah, again, definitely that some of you are going to be, yeah, releasing, well, they say control, but releasing somebody at this point. Actually, take a look at this next card here. Yeah, whenever I see this, it's about releasing from the masculine, but not always just the masculine. But anyway, so just to uh, explain this a little bit, Taurus, I'm seeing that you're about to embark on a process. You probably are on that process already that is going to take you down a certain path, but it's a little bit feeling like a hermit's path. And remember the hermit, we think about the hermit as being all alone and hashtag forever alone, but actually it's, uh, it's, it really, well, yes, there is this sense of being alone and disconnected, but rather unattached. And the reason why is because you need to go within and you need to be able to receive um, energies, receive information. And when we have people in our energetic field a lot, it kind of makes it a little bit hard to navigate. Just as I shifted my body, a card came into view over here. <laughs> Spirit is so good. They really are. Look at that. Clear out the clutter. And so I feel that whoever this is that uh, you're connected with or connecting with, for somebody here, it's somebody that you know you're going to meet up with. You were supposed to meet up, but later. So it's going to be perfect timing for you, whoever that is. You may actually be abroad from this person and you know that you won't be able to see them until later in the year and or something to that effect. And it's perfect timing for you to do whatever it is that you need to do right now. Okay, so don't worry, guys. This union is protected. <laughs> now, as I'm saying all this, I'm part of me is like, well, what if this isn't about a love relationship for somebody else, for one of you guys? And it need not be, but that's the storyline that's coming through. You know, it can be applied to anything, a job or um, um, some other type of commitment. Spirit is saying a commitment of any kind. All right, so let's jump in. We already are in, but it's okay. Okay. That's so funny. These cards were just in the Aries reading, and it's and I want to mention that also because in the Aries reading, I saw the Taurus energy pop up, and it was on this card. And go figure, just as I did the Taurus card, Taurus reading, this card pops up first. So some of you may be actually dealing with somebody who has Aries placements, or in very, very even more simply, there's some message for some of you here in the Aries reading, whether or not um, you have Aries or somebody has Aries or blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Yes. Divine Feminine. Yes. Okay. You know, as I saw this card and this card, I almost said some of you are going to come into your own 
And then you're going to start giving back in some type of service. And then I saw, oh yeah, duh, spiritual services right there. But this is about you first needing to get into a place where you can give. So some of you may actually be out of balance. Some of you may not have been giving to yourself. You may have been promoting yourself in a way that wasn't authentic. It wasn't really who you were. You know, it's very common and very easy to get into that when, we, when we're delving into so many uh, devices and apps and software and, and social media and all of this that really takes us outside of ourselves a lot, right? It's so many masks. It's, it's like thrice removed. And so right now you may find that spirit is whittling you down a bit, which we know because you're, they're, you're getting into your own space. They're clearing out the clutter. They're reminding you of your purpose. You're getting back into your authentic self. And from that place, will you be able to finally uh, give of yourself? I do see that you're going to have to take a trip back down memory lane particularly to your family. So your family household is coming through very strongly. Now that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a thing. It happens. Um, it can be really hard, but I do want to say that the rewards and the dividends is what they're saying. The rewards are amazing and they're plentiful. The reason why they're amazing, amazing is be, why did they say amazing? I think that means something E as an electronic amazing. Anyway, um, it's amazing because you're going to be kind of pruning yourself right now. You're weeding yourself right now and, and you're weeding out things from your childhood that um, have been cluttering you, that have been um, dominating the way that you see the world. I mean, how could you truly give to another person as ready as they are to receive you? How could you truly give to them when you're projecting onto them an image that is informed by your childhood, right? Um, simple things like, I'll never be loved. This person was never going to take me down the aisle. They're just going to use me. They're going to not commit. Oh yeah, that's because your dad was like that, you know? And his dad before that. And then your mom's dad and, 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 and some of your mothers, right? And so um, this is important for you to note that it's not a step back. It's just a step back into it's not like a step back like oh my god i'm losing ground it's a step back so that you can take a look at the painting on the wall and so you can make the arrangements and you can uh, for some of you i'm sad to say i do feel that you may be dealing with a death of some sort because i'm seeing make arrangements so in a sense this is about maybe something you don't know that's going to come up for you with somebody that you're dealing with or a family member or something that's coming up an event that you're going to have to kind of be separated from whoever this is or whatever this is so that you can deal with it could also be um, talking about making arrangements in terms of finally getting to a place where you have stepped back you've looked at your college years you've looked at your life and you're ready to put it to death once and for all forgive yourself forgive yourself for everything forgive everybody for everything and you see how that process unfolds you're reminded about your, your, your purpose. I do have meaning. And then here you are stepping into that and being like, oh my God, I have meaning for sure And then part of that process is looking back in your past, clearing out the stuff. It's like, well, now that I have meaning and I understand that, like, what was I doing back then? Oh, I forgive myself. Oh, I was letting this person do that. I forgive that person. You know, whatever, whatever it is that you need to do. And now I can give to somebody else and I'm ready to do that and then you step into ding, your paradigm shift you see this doorway here of course you're like well she's like totally outside of the door why doesn't she just go in like at least stand up like what are you doing now there is a doorway here and it is opening and remember doorways are always there and open to us but when you're not in the mindset you won't even see the door. Let's put it that way. So people always think God closes doors. God doesn't close doors. This is my opinion. You know, God bless. Like, who am I, right? I, I am that I am, whatever. But um, God doesn't close doors. The door is always there. Like, where in God's kingdom or the universe and all that is, would you ever find a no? The no there is, is because you have become, um, you're not a vibrational match to it, right? Well, let me, let me amend that. Uh, yeah, let me amend that for a second. Let's put it this way. If there are as doors closed, obviously it's something, I'm talking about doors for your highest good. Those will never be closed, but obviously doors that you need to have closed because what are you doing there with that person? That's the difference. That's rejection, it's protection, blah, blah, blah. But when there's a door that's for your highest good, it will never be closed for you. 
The thing is that you it appears to be close to you. It appears that you can't get that or 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 you won't even see it. You won't even conceive of what it is that you could have. And that's because you're not a vibrational match. And this door actually has like little symbols out there. But the beautiful thing about you, um, the beautiful thing about you, Taurus, or whoever you are, is that you finally got into a place where you're bare. You see how she's nude there? You're bare. You are authentic. And because of that, you're able to perceive of that door. Perception is everything. You're able to perceive of that door. And the beautiful thing is as you read the signs and the symbols on it, you're like, oh, my God, I, I can do that. That's my door. And you walk through. Right. And so this is about God leveling you up. So what is it that brings you in through this door? What makes all the difference? I'll give you a hint. It's two words. And the first word starts with S. And the second word starts with L. You, you can guess in three, two, one. Okay, you didn't get it? Okay, okay. Well, how about this? The, the two words rhyme with belf bove. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's correct, everybody. It's self-love. Yay! It's seeing your value, understanding it, recognizing it, and backing it up, changing your story from the, from the back end and moving forward. And that, that awareness plus reflection plus um, actions, physical actions, it steps in the physical, I mean, that will knock down any bowling pin, right? And so that's what happens. You finally get to a place with it, it, of peace within yourself. And um, that's amazing. Oh, look. So this card is actually the now card, see? But what I'm seeing here is they're covering the word now. So that's interesting. I'm kind of getting this idea that for some of you, you might need um, an energetic shifting energy so of course you guys know i do offer energetic shifts through my live sessions but again if you don't get it with me you can get it through some other means in some way but some of you will need a, a shift of energy to kind of get that ball rolling and if you want want some uh referrals definitely reach out to me as well because you don't have to get it for me okay but i will be happy to refer people who would be good for you um now I, it's almost like if you can have this shift, however the shift happens, because you're going to have it, however the shifts happen, shift happens, it can kind of blow you straight into this heart opening, this self-love awareness. And so let's, put, let's take that energetic concept that's happening at the higher level and bring it down into what we would understand in our physical, with our physical mind. What that means is... Um, when yeah thanks you they showed me this card when you clear out the old energetic baggage and clutter it makes room for new energies to come in and we see this here coming in and it becomes an easy process right and once that happens bada bing bada boom here we are at earth healing in other words here we are at the 11 card 38 coming reducing to a, uh, an 11 okay and now you might be like, what, what does that 11 mean for me? 11 means in general, in, and in this reading, alignment. It's going to be alignment. But remember, for some of you, I do feel it will be realignment or reconnection with whomever you had to release or let go of. Um, I'm seeing the temperance card coming in here, but very gingerly. Not the temperance card in terms of like the good doctor. good Because to me, the temperance card is the good doctor. It's literally like spirit guides, angels, technicians on the other sides, all of those people doing physical, almost, it really feels like physical, but work on your energetic field. Of course, we see that this is um, part of your process, but what I'm actually seeing here is a newfound sense of peace that comes over you. So I'm getting that, yes, you're going to be given a little bit of a time out. This is Taurus, time out Taurus. That's exactly what this month is going to be for you. A little bit of a time out for you. So let's talk about the peace aspect. Whenever, like we, whenever we register a separation from the upper energies, guys, please remember that how the separation occurs in the non, in, excuse me, in the physical, it really shouldn't be of your concern. And when I say that, I mean like um, 
let's say I'm seeing in your energetic field, oh, okay, well, you're going to be turning inward and you're going to be doing the next leg of this journey alone because the reason why is because you need to have some energetic stuff come in and you need your, clear, your field clear and blah, 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 blah. But what happens is that energy trickles down into the physical and that can result in, depending on you and your circumstances and you know the people around you and the shadows you guys are playing into and if you're reacting instead of responding and all sorts of stuff it could turn into people arguing with you and walking off walking out on you you getting angry you 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 know your boss firing you or taking you off a project it's disruption um or maybe it could be even something more benign like you keep meet, needing to meet up with your friend you, you keep meeting to meet up with your friend but somehow you both are busy and it's kind of like oh my gosh I feel like I, I feel like I just become so busy and every time we go to hang out like we always have to cancel one of us has to cancel it could be like that or it could be as something as simple even more simple as um when you leave your house you turn right just as like your neighbor is pulling up and turns left or something like that so you actually miss each other you don't even perceive of each other so again please remember that I'm seeing a separation happen here but what that actually is is like you're this cute little egg and you're being pulled out from all the other eggs and just put here so you can do your thing but again how that happens in the physical is really dependent upon your individual circumstances so if i were you god bless i would ask spirit to make that separation process or that sequestering process that's better um as easy as possible because i don't feel that this process is going to take like a million years. It's just needing to take a step back, look at what's going on, regroup, uh, you know, get into that angel hospital, uh, clear your energy fields, uh, field, yeah, fields, you have multiple within one, but clear your energy fields and just um, surrender and then let God take his course. Now, it's really interesting that the Taurus and Aries readings uh, align with each other because the theme is very similar. Uh, of course, the, of course, the Aries one just seems just so much more tumultuous than <laughs> Taurus. Why? Why does it always happen that way? Aries, come on. I get it. But you know, you, you guys need a break. And when I say you guys, I mean me because I, I have an Aries sun, but I also have a Taurus moon you know, and I feel like I'm more Taurus than Aries, but yet I'm going through an Aries stress, like what, what's going on? Anyway, God is good. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these lovely, cute little bubbly cards for you guys. Um, I wanted to use these uh, cute cards. They're very lighthearted, but they get the job done. It's because it kind of goes with your reading. Listen, remember the, was it this past month? Remember the last Taurus reading that I did? I think it was the last one. And it talked about balance and union and, and connection and all that and it was so nice and peaceful compared to the Aries one that was very similar in, in terms of talking about a soulmate and whatnot but theirs was very tumultuous again it's the same so I can use these cards with you because you've got this really like um, you know it's just that the energies are different but I will say that the last card I just saw was the seven of wands which is defensiveness so it doesn't mean you're not going through it uh, as well and here I just looked at the bottom of the deck here we have five of swords which is self-sabotage um, it could be um, victory at any cost it could be anything but it carries a negative uh, meaning right I just heard the word century so this is part this is um, yeah they're talking about behavioral patterns that you've been carrying around with you for centuries but look at this a change in the wind. See all this grief energy? Some of you are really going to be grieving over um, something related to a partner. The same partner, I feel, about either not having the alignment or having to separate or just whatnot. And spirit is, look how God was like, look how over here it's like this, right? That's where you would experience this grief and whatnot. And God is like, yeah, come sit next to me. You know, you do like to like a kid in, in kindergarten or something. Come sit next to me or first grade. While let's, oh, look, there's a kid too, right? See? <laughs> come sit next to me I'll hold you until this process is done look at her it's the same person here but look at how she's looking at her person as he's somewhere else and she's like <laughs> right and 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 spirit is like we've got you oh and they look see they pushed her a little closer so again you may be dealing with a separation but spirit is like let's it's like the teddy bear we look mommy's gonna give you teddy bear back but we have to wash mr snuggles because you don't want mr snuggles dirty right and then you don't want to be dirty and then making mr snuggles dirty and then both of you are dirty so let's give him a bath and and he'll be ready in four hours or four months you know i don't know how god works but um 
And until then, why do you want to go, let's go make some marshmallows and, and s'mores and then we can talk about Mr. Snuggles or we can look at somebody else or do something else or, you know, look at somebody else. You see how they like put that in there really quickly, guys? Don't, don't play with spirits. So some of you may actually be introduced to another partner during this separation. Doesn't mean that you're going to get together. I don't necessarily feel that, but I do feel that there's going to be some type of karmic reward they're saying for doing that maybe you're going to be um, receiving uh, some type of learning or knowledge through somebody else whatever this is potential look at that communion wise leadership okay alliance so guys uh, either way spirit has you and look at how they are not like wrenching you away from whoever this person is in fact, they're giving you, they're putting you as close. They're letting you look, you press your hands and cute little nose up on the on the washing machine as you watch Mr. Snuggles go around. <laughs> but in the meantime, you're, you've got stuff to do, right? You can't sit there and watch, you know, him go round and round in the laundromat. Why don't you go have your shower? Why don't you go paint and do some hand painting, all sorts of things, watch a little TV, you know, play out and play outside in the yard. And then four hours later, when the spin cycle is done, here you are. And then it's like, here you are all fresh and so clean, clean. You're ready. You've gone through your own spin cycle. So I do see that the, whoever this partner is may be actually going through some stuff in their life, okay? They may be going through some stuff in their life. Um, yeah, look at that. Just as I said that, the Knight of Cups, this is this other person go, ha, needing to have strength right now, okay? And what was happening is that, that this potential for this connection was being thrown off, I, I feel, a bit um, because of some things that both of you are, go, are going through. I, I do see a lot of pride on your end, uh, um, Taurus, but it may not just be on your end, okay? Oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. Guys, listen, don't play. <laughs> don't play, you guys. Spirit is like, we got you, okay? Two of cups, partnership, connection, commitment. Oh, God, I'm scared. They're like, look at what's right underneath. I don't want to. What is that? <gasps> Stop it, guys. The lover's card. Okay. Okay. That's my Taurus side saying, okay. Bye, Mr. Snuggles. I'll go do something else. Look at that. Mr. Snuggles, or this partner of yours, isn't ready. Look at him breathing fire. So, okay, I guess it's not the time. Boop, 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 right? Oh, I just looked at that. Just I said, it's not the time. I just looked at the time because I'm looking at my camera. 22 minutes, 22 seconds. Guys, don't play. So that's what I'm saying. Spirit is like, we, we get it. We get it. And I was just thinking, oh my gosh, all these twos. And look at this, two of pentacles. Okay, spirit. We totally get it. So Spirit may actually drop some hints along the line. 22 minutes, 44 seconds, there we go. Spirit may actually drop some hints along the line so that you, during your own process here, will not feel so bad about this. Even if you your paths go separately or you're doing whatever, this is destiny, they're saying. They're giving me this idea of driving school. Whenever they give me the concept of driving school, it's it's their way of saying this is destiny and it's something you can't get out of. And you prob probably shouldn't want to because it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Listen, you could walk all the way down to the beach or you can hop in this car and we'll drive you down there. It'll be a little wild drive, but you're getting you're gonna get there faster. And the whole idea about the um, driving school thing is that it, it's, a, it's the car that has two, um, two steering wheels and two accelerated acceleration um, pedals and brakes and all of that. And so in that moment, they're like, listen, you ask for Jesus to take the wheel. Let us do it. You just relax. And so that's what's going on here. So if you are dealing with somebody who, um, you know, it, it, it's like it looks like you guys have had to separate or this person isn't interested. I see these cards off to the side wanting to come in. Here we are. Three of Cups. Reunion will happen after this period is done, right? And then look, some of you may have been dealing with someone who wasn't really interested in sh or showing you themselves. But take a look here. The um, last two cards that are coming in. Well, actually, damn, the last three cards <laughs> that are coming in for four of uh, wands, which is divine union. We've got the tower card coming in because this is all tower stuff. And the six of, uh, six of wands, that's um, um, victory. But they also said purity. Love it. Okay. You're purifying. Okay, guys, I got to go. Hopefully this can still fit on Instagram. Mwah. Love you. Bye.